Welcome back everybody, Bully Neck here, and it is time again for the top five mods of the week. I can't wait to get started on them. We have five amazing mods this week. I hope you guys can't wait to check them out. Let's get right to it. As you can see behind me, I have a mod already all set up here. It is called Enhanced Mushrooms. Let's take a look. According to the developers, Enhanced Mushrooms turns mushrooms, a usually somewhat useless item, into a couple of brand new wood types. Mushroom blocks are now called mushroom caps and are recolored to be a bit more vibrant. They can also be sheared like leaves to make them much more accessible for early building. You don't need that silk touch anymore. Small mushrooms have new textures, so they match their larger counterparts a little bit better. And now you can cook them to make roasted mushrooms. Pretty cool. Large mushrooms now contain the mod's custom stems, which work like logs. They can be placed in any direction, crafted into hyphae, or even stripped. Mushroom stems can also be crafted into two brand new types of wood, red mushroom and brown mushroom. You can then use that wood to craft all the different items that you'd expect to be able to get from wood, including new bookshelves, ladders, boats, and even vertical slabs. If you have cork installed, enhanced mushrooms will also enhance glow shrooms, giving all the new features and items but in the glow shroom variants. Glow shroom items are pretty unique. I'm not sure I've ever seen a wood variant quite like it. All glow shroom items are transparent and glow, which I think is pretty darn cool. If you're looking for a way to enhance your Minecraft experience, enhanced mushrooms can definitely help. Bound totems allows totems of undying to be bound to living entities. Any living entity. This is very cool, you guys. Once a totem is bound, you don't have to hold it for it to work anymore, which is pretty nice. It frees up your offhand. Or if you use a bound shelf, you don't even need it in your inventory at all. This mod adds six new items to the game. The ritual dagger, the carving knife, the bound totem, the bound teleporting totem, the totem shelf, and planks, which are used to make the totem shelf. A lot of the crafting is in world crafting. For example, to make the totem shelf, you strip two oak logs and then hold down the left mouse button with the carving knife until four planks are dropped. Then you right click the shelf frame with the four drop planks and voila, you have yourself a bound totem shelf. To bind yourself to a totem, you right click with the ritual dagger while you're sneaking to get some of your blood on the dagger. Once you have some blood on the dagger, you drop a totem of undying on the ground and right click it with the bloody dagger and there you go, you have yourself a bound totem. You can reuse this dagger as many times as you like, as long as you don't wash it. Or you can copy totems just like you copy maps. Now we just need to bind ourselves to that sweet shelf we just made so we can store these totems on it and we'll be protected in any dimension and anywhere in the world. Fortunately, binding ourselves to that shelf super easy. We just take that same exact dagger we were just using and we right click it into the shelf. It'll get struck by lightning and there you go. Now we have a bound shelf that can hold our totems. As long as there's totems on that shelf, we are protected. Check that out. It went from four to three and it saved our life. To bind other living entities is just as easy. You just need to attack them with the dagger to get their blood and then use the exact same process. This is a good way to save that mending one villager you really don't want to lose. Or maybe you just want to make sure Kyle, your pet zombie, stays safe. It even works on little baby pigs. Aren't you just the most adorable thing ever? Sorry, Kyle. I couldn't do that to that baby pig. What were you guys thinking? Next up, we have additional lights. This mod adds eight new types of lights with 127 variations. That's a lot of lights. I think we all know how important lighting is in Minecraft, and unfortunately, it's probably one of the most overlooked features of the game. We need it to stay safe and to light our builds, but a lot of times, we end up finding ways to hide the lighting instead of showcasing it, because there isn't a light that fits our build. Additional lights definitely helps in this area. As you can see on this Suburban build, using only vanilla Minecraft, I wouldn't have had any way to light this and keep the same aesthetic. I probably would have hid the lighting under the bushes or in the grass with carpet on top. And over here we have a ruined temple. 
which I could have used torches and campfires to light, but obviously this looks much, much better. On top of all these lights, this mod also has craftable fire that doesn't spread or cause damage to players. This feature alone can be extremely handy. If you do any building in your Minecraft worlds, you should definitely give additional lights a try. The fans mod adds four basic fans, starting from iron and working up to emerald, each getting more powerful as you go, a redstone fan, a configurable fan, and a sticky fan. The only fan that requires a power source to run is the redstone fan, and I would say they're all pretty fairly priced. The iron fan isn't powerful enough by itself to actually lift players, but if you pair two together, it can get the job done. Here we can see a pretty cool feature of the sticky fan. The sticky fan won't lift or push anything that's touching it. So that means we can walk on it without getting lifted up. It's a pretty cool feature. And if we take a look at the configurable fan, this is also very cool. It actually has the little battery picture on the side that lights up the more you right click showing how much power you've given it. And yeah, that's all you have to do. You right click it to give it more or less power. And here we have the redstone fan. The strength of the redstone fan is based on the strength of the signal that it's getting. So the stronger the redstone signal, the more power the fan has. I like the simplicity of this mod. A lot of times getting fans running to move your entities around can be a pain. You have to set up batteries and generators or power lines. With this mod, you don't have to worry about any of that. So whatever you need to move, whether it's players, mobs, or items, or TNT, Fans Mod has you covered. Hey gang, does this ever happen to you? You spend all day chopping wood, getting ready for that next epic build. Then when you go to leave, you see another boat's been filled. Those pesky turtles are always filling my boats. So now I have to use some of this hard earned lumber that was supposed to go towards my happy little mistakes diorama, a tribute to Bob Ross, to make yet another boat. Or I could break a boat and go free diving for the inevitable lost boat that somehow defies gravity to sink faster than any other item in the game. I just wish there was a better answer. What about get out of my boat? Get out of my boat? What's that? Get Out of My Boat is the simple yet highly needed mod that allows you to ship right click a boat to eject any occupant that's not another player. Wow, Get Out of My Boat sounds amazing, but I probably can't afford it. Well, that's the best part. Get Out of My Boat costs absolutely nothing. Get Out of My Boat is free? Why isn't everybody using it? Well, I, I mean, I really don't know. Everybody should be using it. It's pretty amazing. Honestly, like, go get it. Use it. All right, let's see if I can figure this out. So you shift right click the boat. Get out of my boat, turtle. Hey, this is a lot of fun. Get out of my boat, you turtles. You know, it doesn't only work on boats. It works on minecarts too. What? I happen to have villagers in minecarts right over here. Get out of my minecarts, you villagers. Thanks so much, loud echoey voice from the sky guy. Hey, no problem at all. And I'm not in the sky, I'm right here. What? That was you? Yes, Bully Neck. I've been with you all along. Get out of town. No, you mean get out of my boat. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a good one. Oh. oh, villager. You're the best. All right, you guys. Unfortunately, I am no, out of time today. Neck. You're the best. All right, buddy. I, I, I got to get this. I got to record this. So thanks so much. But yeah, I... I I gotta get this recorded. Okay, you guys stay there. Like I was saying, unfortunately I'm out of time. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, do me a big favor and hit that like button down below. If you're new to the channel and you haven't subscribed yet, maybe consider subscribing. Thank you so much for watching. Keep playing, keep having fun. We will see you guys next time. Bye.